What up, players? It's Warboss Tail for this mud. Today we paint up a Rakeland uh, Noble Pistolier. I'm only showing you how to really do the, 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 the Pistolier because it's a color scheme for that you could use for any Empire Trooper. If you want to do the horse, I kind of go over in the beginning what to do for the horse, but here are the colors you're going to need. Rackhearth Flesh. Um, Mornfang Brown. Raikland flesh shade. I'm just pulling them, pulling them up. Known oil. I'm about to run out of battery, and I'm not gonna be able to organize this. Baltazar gold. Lead belcher. Bugman's glow. Cadian flesh tone. Uh, Chaos black. Mephiston red. And I believe that's it. Oh no, Xandri Dust for the pistol. Of course, if you're using different weapons or you're using like a halberdier model, it'll be a little bit different. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a comment in the description or leave a comment down below. And uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching. Latest players. Hey, what's up, players? It's Wallboss Tay up in his mug. And we are going to get started painting up an Empire Pistolier in the Warhammer Fantasy Battles Empire Army. We're going to be painting him up in the colors of Rakeland. Now uh, for the horse, I just want to explain what I did for the horse because I obviously am not, uh, or I obviously finished it and didn't film what I did. And um, let's see, where did I put my painting? Matt. Hmm. I'll just explain as I go. So for the horse, I base coated him in Mechanicus Standard Gray, and I'll show you the I'll show you the colors. Why not? I've got time. So Mechanicus Standard Gray, and then I mixed Mechanicus Standard Gray with Administratum Gray, and that's that's what I did for the highlight. I just kind of did like a little bit of a highlighting on both sides, mixing mixing it in as I went. For the hair, I did Chaos Black. If you've got Abaddon Black, then you can use that. For the tail, for the hair, I'm gonna probably highlight a little bit more. For the markings, I used just plain old white scar, and I followed the horsey painting guide from the High Elf White Dwarf. Kind of talks about how, how they, they did the same thing. I used a toothpick instead of a brush to do the dots on the face. You'll find that if you have a toothpick, have lots of toothpicks, they will definitely help you out. This is one of those times. If you use your brush, guess what? Even the most fine detail brush will leave a splotch or like a dot that you don't want. So even if you do that with the toothpick, you'll find that if you have a, uh, a toothpick, and you're able to, to dot, then you can fix it by getting a fine detail brush and just painting the base color or the highlight color around it so that the dots do not look so big. Um, I'm gonna continue painting the horse as we go. This, this guide is mainly for the Rakelander officer here, but um, just for anybody who's interested in, in painting up the horse, I did Mornfang Brown for the leather. I did Dryad Bark for the uh, scabbard. Um, lead belcher for all the silver. I'm gonna go and do some bone colored for for the pistol holsters here and yeah, I guess I didn't even finish the horse For the barrels of ale or wine Casks whatever you want to call it. I used steel legion drab and dryad bark for the sleeping bag For the uh, bogenhafen purple I decided that this guy would be from Rakeland the province of Rakeland from the the merchant city of Bogenhafen and their colors are purple. So I used a Nagaroth Knight as a base color and then serious, serious you guys, I'm so serious right now, purple for the highlight. All right, so let's get started with the rest of the model. Um, the reason why I decided to paint the horse the way I did, and this is, I guess, advice for anybody who's thinking about painting a model and is kind of coming up with different color schemes. I was thinking, okay, I could go with like a cream colored horse or a white horse or a brown horse. And then I thought, well, the Rakeland uniform is cream. It's supposed to be like this light off-white cream color. 
and I decided if his poofy sleeves are gonna be that, then um, they would clash too much with the horse. So I wanted a color that didn't have brown, cream, or white, so uh, creamy white as a focus. So I decided to go with the black hair, gray skin, and white markings, like straight flat white for my horsey. All right, so that having been explained, let's talk about how we're going to paint our model. Now, when plotting out a model, I know that, okay, what colors, what is gonna be the main color of, of the cream in the, in the color scheme? And so he's, this, this model has beautiful, big, poofy sleeves. So I know that I'm gonna be painting the sleeves in, in the cream color. And then I'm also gonna be looking to see what color I should paint the armor. If the armor is cream, done in a cream color, then um, what should I go with silver to match the kind of white, or should I go with like a black, black dark iron to uh, kind of offset that? And after thinking about it for a while, I decided to go with silver. So, once, basically what I'm doing is I'm just kind of plotting out what I do before I do it. And it's a, a good hint for anybody who is um, following my videos, but is also, you know, just starting to think about how to creatively add their own flair to their models. I'm going to start with Rekhart Flesh, because that is going to be the base of our models. I'm going to thin it down. You can either use acrylic paint thinner or water on a wet palette. I like to use water on a wet palette. And then I'm going to go for any of our guys' cloth. Also, before, I, I don't know if I need to mention it, probably to my new viewers out there, but I always prime my models. It might not look like it. It might look like it's you know fresh off the sprue, but um, that's because I use a matte primer, a matte gray primer. What that does is it makes the details pop a little bit better for me than if I were to use a black primer. I feel like all the details get lost. And if I use a white primer, I feel kind of the same thing, that pr the, the details get a little bit lost. This is just a base coat, so it's it's okay if you if you get the color in places it's not meant to go. The important thing is that with all base coats, you do not want your paint to be too thick. If your paint is too thick, if it's, it causes the same effect as if you use primer that was too thick, what will happen is that it will bleed into all of the details, the areas that are recessed, and um, it will end up giving you a very poor looking finish. I can zoom out a bit so I don't have to be so close. Also going to paint what I assume to be the tunic under the armor straps. And I'm also going to paint the trousers, which you can kind of see under the leg armor. So if you're going with a state trooper model, like a halberdier or a great sword, great swordsman, then uh, you'll notice in most of the examples, any Rakelander troops have fully 
off-white or cream uniforms. There is hardly, in fact, I don't think there are any examples of Reichlander soldiers who do not have full cream-colored uniforms. They do not do them quartered like Talabiklend. They do not wear like a blue top and white pop pants like Middenheim, Middenlanders do. It's all one color, this off-white cream. So in a way that makes it easy because you don't have to worry about quartering or doing halvesies. And you can just focus on the color. Okay. I'm going to go for black, Chaos Black or Abaddon Black, you can use that. Riding boots. Shiny black leather boots. So if you're doing a non-pistolier model, if you're doing a state trooper, great swordsman, something else like that, then I would suggest black for the shoes or the, yeah, the boots. You could also use Mornfang Brown if you want. Oh, it looks like He's got some armor on the front there, front of his boot that I must have shaved down. Must have thought it was a, uh, a mold line. Kind of see where the, the seam of it is. It's all right, just gonna paint over it. We'll do our best. So to do that, let's move on to Len Belcher. Len Belcher is going to be the silver. <clears throat> so anything that's silver on our guy here. I decided to go with a pistolier. I could have gone with a halberdier or or a great swordsman. I just Un unbox the Empire Great Swords, but I decided to go with a halberdier because, or with a pistolier, I'm sorry, because pistoliers are supposed to be young, hot blooded, rash, noble sons, young noblemen who take to the field not really, not really blooded yet. They don't really have much experience in the battlefield, but they, they are full of fire and spit and they are trying to race to prove themselves on the fields of battle. And I think that's pretty appropriate to, to the province of Rakeland. I've been doing a lot of research on Warhammer Wikia and on um, Sigmar's Heirs, the Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 2nd Edition supplement. And I've found lots of great information on Raikland, so. Oops, I'm gonna show you how you would go about fixing the sleeve work. So I want my sleeves to look like these ones on the left, but my hands got shaky, the brush point just got away from me. It's not looking good. So I go back to my base color, Rackard Flesh, and I'm just going to clean the area around the sleeves. You do this at this point because by the time you get the washes on, when the washes or the shades dry, what's going to happen is that the parts that you want it to be a certain color are going to be stained with a different color. And it'll make it just that much harder to blend up to where you want it to be. Don't forget to use your wet palette. Always use your wet palette. I have to remind, my, remind myself that sometimes because I have to admit I forget a lot.
It's also a good time when you're fixing the slashes that you check to make sure that everything is painted up as you want it to be. Like if somebody took my figure right now and turned it upside down, you would see that the slashes down here underneath the sleeve are not painted nearly as well. But who's gonna be looking on the other side of our models? Golden Demon judges, that's who. All right. Is there any more we wanna do? Yep. Also look from above, because I just noticed looking at my model that there are some slashes above that I forgot to paint. Finding the right angle to turn your model so you could paint it is quite tricky. So you know who has lots of slashes in their sleeves? Great swords. Such a great, such a great kit. Who would have known? A unit called the Great Swords had a great kit. Alright, that's all we're gonna do for the slashes. We're gonna let it dry for a second. While that dries, we are going to paint the guns. The gun, the gun, the gun, the gun, the gun. It's going to first be painted. Oh no, where did it go? Sandry Dust. Uh, I usually paint them cream. You know what? I'm probably going to change this. So I'm painting the wood sandry dust, but I'm probably going to change it. I forgot that <laughs> the cream color is, or it's building up to a cream color that's pretty much exactly like the clothes. So I might just keep it at this sandry dust color instead of highlighting it up. Woo! Adjusting on the fly. So interestingly enough, if you play the new Warhammer Fantasy roleplay, the new edition, the one of the starting classes that you can be is a Rakelander. I've heard so much good things about the new Warhammer Fantasy roleplay. I picked up the box, I'm like trying to pour through it. My lady boss said she'd be interested in playing because she wants to roll dice with me too, but she just said she's not sure if she can handle so much rules and information. And I was like, you kidding? I'm looking through the book and I'm like, I don't know if I can handle all these rules and all this much information. It looks like a encyclopedia you gotta memorize. Alright, I've decided to do the balls of the pistol in Balthazar Gold. I think I did these balls down here in silver. Oh, forgot to paint the pistol handles down here in ball in a uh, Xandri dust. I'll go do that when when I upload this. We wanna show off how rich our noble here is this one, then this layer two. Uh, we're also going to paint the plating and the firing mechanisms in Balthazar Gold. Speaking of, let's do 
the trigger housing down here. And let's do the pommel of the sword here. And finally, for now at least, we're gonna paint some of the detail on this guy's helmet. He's got an eagle. I love how in Warhammer, the eagle, in Warhammer Fantasy, the eagle is, has only a single head. It's not a double-headed eagle. Uh, I'm also going to paint the trim of his breastplate and this detail on the front. Look how wealthy our young chappy is. See just by adding a little bit of gold how, how that changes the look. If you make a mistake, just go back over in silver, which I shall do. Copy the bra uh, the gold trim for the back here. All right. details here and there. <clears throat> it's another tip. Try to have two cups of water, one for your silver and gold paints and one for your um, for your non-metallic paints. All right, last section. We're going to be painting up the skin highlight with a mix of Bugman's Glow and Cadian Flesh Tone. Never, I guess I haven't gotten used to this new flesh colors from Games Workshop. Just don't really care for it. I feel like Bugman's Glow is too red, pink. Um, Cadian Flesh Tone is too like yellow. There is nothing like the old Talarn flesh. Unless you mix like Bugman's Glow and oh, I should have mixed it with with a uh, cream color like Rackarth Flesh. Ah, well, that's right. There is still time for that later. I said I was going to do this off camera, but um, let's just get it over with, shall we? Also, I'm, as always, I apologize for any out of focus shots. Igor uh, still has not quite gotten the use, uh, gotten used to this camera. I've had it for three years and I still don't know what I'm doing. 
It's already where. I failed you, monster. No, no. Just, just keep at it. If it makes you feel any better, though, I baked you a pie. Really? Yes, monster. I baked you a catstead pie. Do you get it? It's like custard, but I know with cats. I love that musical. That cat's the musical. All right, lead belcher. We're going to continue painting of the silver. I realize there's some silver bits like on the horse and um, we're gonna clean up this guy's. We're gonna clean up his. Uh, breastplate and all sorts of other goodies. So. Yeah, the pistol too, the gun. So we'll get up to the washes in just a second, and then we'll come back, try to finish this boil up tomorrow. So we're taking our lead belcher now, we're gonna paint in the barrels of these pistols. And the trigger housing. Doogie house it. No, trigger housing. Rutger Hauer. Nope. Trigger housing. Oh. So that's those two pistols done. Everything is coming up roses, so we are going to... Uh, is there anything else we want to do? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's for me, you guys don't have to do it, but I'm putting Mornfang Brown onto the straps that I forgot to paint on this uh, sleeping bag here. Okay, he is ready for a wash. So we're going to... Actually, before we do, I'm gonna paint the, the rivets on his armor in Balthazar gold. I'm gonna give him just a little bit more pomp and circumstance. He's a noble! Of course he's gonna have gold rivets. What, are you kidding? Come on. There. Das ist gut, ja. I started rubbing off the sandry dust on his pistol. Let me put a little bit more of that on. Alright, Igor, what do you say we wrap this puppy up? Puppy wraps? Is that like a lettuce rip? No. Alright, the wash we're gonna use is called Seraphim Sepia. <clears throat> Oops. So 
we're gonna start with the pants. We oh, yeah. Now you don't wanna overdo it. You want just enough shade that it will find its way into the recesses. The thing I always have to tell myself about shades is I have to say, don't worry, it's supposed to look like that for now. Um, you're gonna let it dry and then go back and highlight it. I always get worried when I'm like, oh, my beautiful paint job it was like a really fantastic bone color and now it looks like someone dragged it through the dirt. And I say, don't worry about it. Give the armor a uh, wash of known oil. Whoop. I'm gonna sign off. I want your known oil to be well mixed in your paint pot. Be careful when you're shaking it up. My known oil has on occasion spilled all over me when I opened it up. Because it's a piece of rubbish design. So I'm just touching up all the silver, I'm kissing all the silver with the known oil. It's a very nice black wash. Okay. Get the rest of these silver pieces later. All right, then Raiklin flesh shade for the skin, and that'll be that'll be it. Boosh. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned as we go into highlighting and doing final details for our pistolier from Rakeland. Remember, if you're following along with the State Trooper or any other boxed kit from the Empire range, then uh, you can still follow the same, the same color scheme as I did. Thanks for watching. Latest players!